Hello everyone and welcome back to CHH Hysteria, a podcast for CHH about everything CHH. I'm your host Cole. I'm your co-host Cooper. And today we are joined by the man, the myth, the legend, the phantom, Judo Sammy. Thank you for coming on. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, appreciate we, you. Yeah, we appreciate you coming on uh, and taking the time. So we, Judo and I, we've talked a, uh, a bit off screen and we both are just really, really excited about where CHH is headed. And we both think there's... You know, CHH has a lot of room to grow, and there's going to be a lot of big artists in the next few years. So we decided it would be really oh, yeah. cool to bring him on and, you know, talk about it with you guys. But before we get started, Judo, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself for people that might not be familiar with you or your music? For sure. Um, so, yeah, my, my artist name, like he said, is Judo Sammy. I've been doing music for about three years now, which is kind of wild. It first started off as just producing. I didn't want to be an artist. Uh, and then took an artist to convince me to be an artist. Uh, and I don't know from there. I mean, it wasn't just even that. It was really just like, really like a God thing that happened in that moment. And yeah, I'm here now and, you know, just trying to make good music, trying to do it all for the kingdom. So yeah, bro. Hey, yeah. And you make some really good music. He just dropped a song called Phantom on Friday. So be sure to stream that after this video 10 times. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> So to get into the beef, um, the meat of the video, Judo, where do you, in your mind, like where do you see CHH heading within the next, I don't know, five, six years? Sheesh. Um, so basically, man, like I think it's really cool because like seeing, seeing all the people that are for real up next is insane. Like there's so many artists that I know of and I know that I'm sure, like later on down the line, everybody's gonna be talking about them, cause um, it's it kind of it's funny, cause last year I was like, man, there, I was discovering like all these new artists, um, thanks to Rap Finds too. Shout out Rap Finds. Yeah. And like, man, he uh, he introduced me like to some of these new artists coming up on SoundCloud and stuff like that, and I'm just like, yo, like where are all these people coming from, like, uh, so like. You know, and some of them, you know, like I said, are like my homies, like um, with Hunter Drinks Water, like he's part of a collective that I'm in, along with a uh, little cash app and young cup holder. And um, along with that, like there's so many others, like um, y'all know A3, uh, mm. he's 350's brother, I believe. And yeah, he's super cool. I believe he's next up too, like. And what I think about the future of CHH is just that um, I, I see a sound that's really evolving because um, I, I feel like before, like, it was quote unquote the mumble rap and people weren't really like rocking with it like that. But um, now it's like starting to be accepted. Like the new sound is starting to be accepted more. It, it, it's not like too much auto tune now. It's kind of like it is what it is at this point. And most importantly, the youth um really rocks with that sound because if you look at it comparatively to the to the mainstream uh we got to kind of be like the anti to that you know so it's like uh that's kind of where i see it going and i and i think it's it's a really good time to see it right now because like i said before there's like so many dope artists out here that are just making it happen so yeah yeah dude there is a insane talent pool right now I keep finding new artists too that I really enjoy listening mm -hmm. to. Um, I mean, like, I feel like before, like you know, like five, six years ago, it was there was less. It was all kind of like you. There's a few other groups, but then there was like Reach Records, kind of as like the main group of people that you would actually listen to. And then now mm -hmm. there's like, I don't know. I ha I don't. Know, I have. I follow so many artists on Spotify and stuff now, and all see change. So many good guys um, that I didn't know about before, and I feel like. You know, even within just like the past two, three years, there's been so many new ones popping up. Cooper, what yep. what are you kind of your thoughts? Um, like you said, like you guys said, I think CHH is going to really grow. Like I think, I think it has a lot of potential with some of these new newer artists that are growing immense amounts. Um, to kind of bleed into the secular scene almost, like in a good way, uh, where I think we can have, I think, I think we can expect to see. A lot of secular people or people from the secular rap community who only listen to secular rap maybe even come into christian rap and get exposed 
um, to the gospel, to everything. And I think it'll be a really good thing. Um, but yeah, I agree that there's going to be a lot of like folks that aren't Christian listening to a lot of the CHH guys. And I think, I mean, part of that's do that. I think personally, that Lecrae took a heck ton of shots for CHH and like, like from like what, 2010 to like 2017, like he's the, he took, he's the pioneer. Right, he's really? like he like really made a lot of doors open for CHH that are now opening up, and you see like all these people like, for example, I think Rob B will be someone that will be kind of like really big within like fans that aren't Christians or like Alcott, or like I mean there's like a lot of other guys that I think just will have a fan base that's like half Christian, half like not, um, which is really cool to see, and that's kind of mm-hmm. like what Lecrae fought for, you know, and like. Um, so it's really awesome seeing like that really actually come to life. Um, mm-hmm. And I like what Judo said about like, you know, we'll have just a sound that's evolving. You know, I feel like before there was just wasn't there was like a specific CHH sound, <laughs> but um, it was just it was actually a real CHH sound. And I mean, it was like and I mean, if I'm and again, I'm like not knocking like certain critiques and stuff that were going on. But like whenever new wave artists like myself and other people would get on or get critiqued it was kind of looked down upon because it wasn't understood Mm -hmm. and um but that's the that's the thing you know for the i feel like for the older generation it's it's always going to be like that but the younger generation understands like they once they hear it and they hear a catchy melody or whatever on it and a crazy beat like they're going to automatically rock with it and um that's kind of the target audience that we should go for and you said it perfectly bro like even non-christians go and listen to that joint and just be like yo like this is fire i don't even care if it's chh or not you know i already have homies who who don't even listen to chh who listen to my music and people like kc and big gucci dame like bro like they (laughs) it's it's a different thing bro so and i love to see it yeah thanks and I like how you bring up artists like A3, too. You know, I feel like yeah. I could show of so many people, like the song Real Drug, for example, and like they would rock with mm-hmm. it and like they don't even have to be Christian, you know, um, but like he's still being a light in the world. And it's like, that's what's exactly. important. So it's, it's super dope. I think another thing that's important with CHH is like just a few years ago, it was like 90% of the market share was like Reach and their gang. And yeah. uh, I mean, like, I love Reach and their gang, you know, like <laughs> that's what I yeah. grew up on. Um, but I think they're going to start, I think they'll continue to grow, but as the genre grows, they'll have like less of like an actual percentage of the market share. So, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, with guys like Andy tribe, you know, like no big deal hit like 300,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. I know that fluctuates, but that's more than some of the artists on reach. And like he did that oh, yeah. without being signed to reach, you know, that was like, you know, if you said that in 2015, that's unheard of, bro. You know what I yeah. mean? And like yeah. you also got like you know you got your collective with like hunter drinks water and stuff like i think you yeah. guys are all gonna be big or like next move there's no way that those three guys don't blow oh. up. you know what i mean yeah, so those like guys are a problem. right yeah. so like there's a lot of like collectives and single artists like you call a kc a3 350 you know all those like, single artists that are like doing it without reach per se i mean like they have like i mean like lecrae and like all the people are reached like holvey he spills into a lot of the guys still yeah. um but without being signed to reach and i think like we even see reach recognize that because like on the summer playlist oh, yeah. you know they have a bunch of indie artists on there you know mm-hmm. and they're just like putting people on blast and you got things like rmg amplify i mean like the, oh. i feel like the genre is just growing and i feel like you're gonna have artists i mean you already have it but you're gonna have more and more artists mm-hmm. that can make it without the help of reach <laughs> which is a good thing oh, yeah. being indie is the new wave right oh, now for sure like not just a it's it's not it's not one of those just those things just to flex your own brand or whatever but it really it's um it's important it's kind of essential yeah being indie is definitely more difficult but like um it pays off because like you start to really you start to see like the people who support you you get to interact with them and stuff like that and yeah i don't know i feel like it's different when you're when you're in a major label and just being indie and yeah, shout out to No Big Deal, bro, because he's, he's for real, like, being an example of what can happen when you uh, continue to to grind, to continue to, like, put out dope music. So, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. I agree. And 
so as CHH continues to grow, what do you think are some of like the obstacles that CHH will face that they'll have to get over in order to like kind of reach more people? Oh man. Um, honestly, I think like, I mean, I feel like it's already kind of already shifting into a place where it's start, like people are starting to be more chill. Mm -hmm. I, I remember, and I'm going to be completely transparent when I say this, like, so I hope nobody judges me for saying this, <laughs> but, um, I definitely used to like knock on, you know, Rapzilla and stuff like that. And not even just, not, not the people there, but mainly the audience that was in there. Cause you know, I, I pay attention to comments and I see the stuff that people say. Uh, and if we're trying to branch out into the secular realm, worldly realm, whatever you want to call it, um, we need to, kind of take a step back and uh, just be careful with the things that we say because we don't want to come off judging people just because, I mean, shoot, we're already judging the heck out of Lecrae just for not seeing Jesus. And Bro, that guy got so, so much hate. I, I feel so bad. <laughs> and um, yeah, man, so if we are to like, you know, I personally believe that with my music and like with all the other people coming up with their music, um, that our our music is dope, and it should be to it should be to the point where it can actually go into the dark places. Because how can we expect to be the light if all we're around is the light? You know, mm -hmm. we're supposed to be the light in the darkness. Well, that's a bar. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, man. Um, I think it's important, man, because it's like at the end of the day, uh, there's people who are who are going through stuff in their life. There's people who feel depressed. There are people who feel suicidal. And we got to keep in mind of those people because, I mean, I'm cool with being part of Rabz If Rabzilla is showing love to me, that's cool. I'm not, there's nothing wrong with that. But for us to branch out, we also got to extend grace. We got to extend love to people who are trying to go into those places, not just performing at churches, but performing at either. Like if it has to be at a bar, shoot, you could perform at a bar and make it happen as long as you're pre preaching Jesus. And, um, I don't know, just being that light, you're not conforming and all that stuff, because it's one thing to be in the world, but not of the world, you know? So, Facts. like, and that's a whole different, you know, chapter we could go into there. Yeah. Sorry, I don't I don't want to sound like I'm preaching out here. No, but dude, I'm just, just <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, no, 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 because it's, it's, a, it's very important, because, you know, we think about people who evangelize, we think about people who um, kind of like, you know, just, go out literally going out into the world and like giving people the gospel you know and um with music it's such a powerful tool um it's everywhere man music is so oversaturated in this time right now so it's like why not be able to go out into that and go out into the other side and make it happen we just gotta i would just i would just pray that people would be more open-minded to the fact of going going into that side so yeah shout out rabzilla i love rabzilla i just there was just some problems that i i just felt like there was with the audience but i mean that's just my thing um that's my little nitpick that i've seen but yeah i feel like we're making a good step forward and people like 350 um and you know a3 all these other people scooty wop like i think they're kind of like making that really big step right now so yeah yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to keep talking all that. No, it's good. All, I think yeah. I, ooh, I agree with everything that you said, and I I hundred percent think that um, like the openness or like the judgment has to go down in order for CHH to grow. I mean, like it's really bad on like Facebook. Like when Gavi announced Noche Juvenile, I think I'm saying that right. People were like hating on it for like him making a fully Spanish album. Like it was dumb. Yeah. I think someone called it racist. Even like it was like people were wilding out you know and like lecrae could say anything and like yeah. facebook groups would be going crazy on him but i feel like it's gone down a little bit i think some of that group has yeah. left or they've been i don't know silenced a little bit by yeah, yeah like there's a lot more in my opinion a very much more positive vibe to ch yeah. and the fan base is a lot more positive than it was a few years ago mm -hmm. and i hope it continues in that trend but um mm -hmm. Cooper, what do you think? Do you have any obstacles in your mind that you think we'll have to 
get over? Uh, I think it would just be the internal resistance. Like, I think in order to grow, we have to come together as one, like, community. Like, we yeah. can't have so much, I don't know, division, I guess would be a good word. But, like, we need to unite as one community in order to grow and go into, like, what you just said, go into the darkness of the world. So, like, we need to accept this, you know, these other sounds that can go out into the darkness of the world. Like, we can't be, you know, be like, oh, this is... You know, sound Christian or whatever like that. It's, it's you know, it's those people sound. are like, it sounds too mainstream. Like, what do you yeah. mean it sounds too mainstream? Is that a good thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I want and it to sound the, good. Uh, Cole, like, kind of, you were saying, like, the CHH sound. I I don't like that at all, man. Because it, it's like, because it's kind of like one of those things that right as you hear it, it sounds like something you would play at a youth group or something like that. And I'm like, man, when I don't want it to be like that. I don't want us to be like, it's literally like us making dope music because if we serve an excellent god a god of excellence right like how we got to make excellent music Ooh, it's to the him. point where hey. even it's if we gotta we gotta up the ante bro we gotta outdo the people we gotta outdo the little uzis we gotta outdo the playboy cardies Thanks. like we taking it we gotta take it a step further because if we're making dope music that's how it's gonna make people it's gonna like really bring people in like even that one song even if the song is just the beat that people like that's still one more person that's like willing to listen Thanks. so like you know i i just feel like we definitely got to take that stuff up a notch because and we're, i don't want us to just make youth group music man i <laughs> i don't know man that's just yeah. me <laughs> no, I, th I think there's a market yeah. for like youth group music but like we shouldn't confine yeah. chh for youth group music you know I mean, like, yeah. shout out to people like, I don't know, like, Nick D is, like, killing it. Like, Fine oh, yeah. Apple is, like, I'll talk to people I know Fine Apple that don't listen to any CHH. Like, they wouldn't even know who Lecrae is, you know? So, like, you know, we need people like that, like, that can reach different groups of people, you know? Um, yeah. I 100% agree. And that um, the sound is, like, the sound has just gotten better. So, like, I, I, I think we're kind of almost, I don't know if we're past the obstacle. I mean, that's always a thing. But, like, I feel like we're almost out of that. CHH can like is only about like making music that talks about God <laughs> rather than making really really mm -hmm. good music. <laughs> um, yeah, but I feel like I feel like we're past that, and maybe we're not. But I I don't know. <laughs> um, but I think it's going in a good trajectory right now. I I feel like so facts. I'm here yeah. for it. Dude, same. I think I I don't want to piggyback off what Cooper said a little bit, and this is kind of like my the thing I was looking at. Like this is what I feel like we'd have to fix the most. It has to do with unity. I agree with Cooper, like, that we have to... I think one thing that we can beat, like, secular rap in is... I mean, like, you know, they are probably always have, like, made it a little bit better, like, because they have a, such a higher budget. Um, they might be able to always have, like... You know, they always have better engineers and stuff. But, um, yeah. you know, like, we have the unity, and, like, we're all, like, no matter whether you're, like... No matter, like, what your group is that you're reaching to, you're, everyone has the same goal of just making great music that glorifies God, right? It just looks different yeah. for different people. So, like, I think we can have a bunch of unity within that. And I think that, like, you know, it gives CHH, like, a community. And, like, I feel like when you're part of a community and, like, and you have, you know, you have the rappers, you have, you know, photographers, you have media people, you have the fans, you have all this, like, you know, you have a big community of people all working towards the same goal. I think that's, like, special, you know. I think people will get yeah. involved in that. And I think CHH has kind of, like, an insecurity of itself of like you know like i and i think it's less of a problem now i think before you know we have people like okay so like pretty much like before it felt like if you were chh you had to have that chh sound or you wouldn't be accepted right like how kind of you were talking about with mm -hmm. Vapzilla. and then yeah. but i feel like and like that you would be in this box that you can you have to say jesus 25 times a song and like 10 times a song you know like stuff like that and i think that yeah. was a real problem right and mm -hmm. i think people like for example, Lecrae, no big deal. We talked about those guys a bit. They've like broken out of that box. And I feel like CHH mm -hmm. has become more positive of itself. But I still think uh, we have a little bit, maybe too much internal fighting about different things. Um, but I mean, I yeah. don't know if you even agree with that, but like... Um, no, I I honestly agree with that 100%, bro, because that's where, that's where it all starts. Um, I think CHH is one of the dopest communities out there, to be honest. And like, Honestly, that's the reason why I even changed my mind because I used to not. Bro, when I first started music, I wanted to be like, man, I'm going to outdo everybody in CHH, bro. <laughs> but uh, 
but nah, it it started to be like you know what man like there's a really dope community here bro like talking to you guys like that's perfect example um you know everybody else like so many other people but yeah man it all starts with like coming together and being in like like just like-minded individuals you know like we can be able to and and also it starts with communication too bro like if we have assumptions about people or this this and that we can go to the source why are we making assume like why were you assuming people's motives you know yeah. like you can talk to them like if you, if you feel like i'm doing something wrong you can talk to me bro like hash it out not in public but in, you know in private because you yeah. know it says in in, this, in scripture it says to correct your brother in private but you know um, i'm gonna make a i'm yeah, gonna make man. a diss video of you <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Post our rapzilla, bro. Oh no. Oh man. Crew hip yeah. popcorn and gonna be like, "Wake up from your snoop." I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, you give me some beef, and then we can really get your marketing going because <laughs> fake beef. Can, I'm say, didn't I think Andy Tribe did that though? They made like fake beef. And, oh like, yeah. It like it blew up, and like it's kind of sad, but I guess that yeah. does sell <laughs> drama sells it's, or whatever. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, it does. But um. Nah, I ended up basically, bro. Like, uh, I actually did end up having a little bit of a problem with this one artist. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. say the artist's name, but like, mm -hmm. me, me and him, just off of that, just off of that few days that it was going on, uh, people were really like amping it up. Like, mm -hmm. even even to the point where the crew was like talking about it a little bit, and I was just like, man, like. I didn't even want it to get this far, so it was just like I, I had to put a stop to it. I apologize. Me and homie are cool now. Um, I'm glad to hear you guys. But are cool. I feel like, yeah. No, what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, I said I'm glad to hear you guys are cool now. That's yeah. good. Yeah, man, because that was one of the other stigmas that uh, that people saw a lot, and the, one of the things that w why other people kind of laughed at CHH is because the amount of drama, the amount of gossip. That was happening. I think if you look at like the pat, like not last year, but I think the year before, was probably like one of the most dramatic moment, like stuff that happened in CHH in a while. Like people were subtweeting about each other and stuff, and I'm just like, come on, bro, we gotta mm -hmm. do, we can do better than this. Like, yeah, because I mean, not comparing, but like, I don't know. I kind of just look at like the mainstream area. I mean, there there be beefs every now and then, but like when there's love for each other, like they are not afraid to show that. So it's like, yo, we can if we are to represent Jesus, you know, we gotta we gotta do that and right. more, you know. So right. like, um, if if I make a mistake, I'm gonna apologize. We we'll go we're gonna hug it out, you know. It's in that it's in that same way, man. We can't hold no pride or ego. We gotta put all that down. So for sure. Yeah, man. I agree. So, who and your and you guys is like, what do you guys think are some leaders that are coming up that are kind of like, we uh, like you know, because like you know, Lecrae is kind of retiring and stuff like that. Who who do you guys are think of some like future CHH leaders? Oh, uh, I feel like I can already say one for sure. All right, do it, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe I believe Hovey mm. is because, and not just because like I kind of know him. But it's because it's like, bro, I don't know, man. It's something about like when you when you actually talk to him, and not just talking to him, but like you see how he is, how how he, I don't know, just builds other people up and encourages people and stuff like that. He has those leadership qualities, man. And like, honestly, I think like probably five, six years later on down the line, people gonna look at Holvi as the OG of CHH for real, yeah. and like. Um, not even the OG. I mean, he's probably still going to be making music for sure, but it's like, man, he just the way that he carries himself and it's because it's the Jesus in him that's that's doing that. And I think I think it's really dope. It's in, he's inspiring to me. And um, yeah, I think Lee, I think Hovi is for sure a CHH leader. Yeah, I 100 percent agree. He was the one I had written down as like 100 percent because like. Well, I feel like I almost feel like Lecrae is almost training him to be like that. I mean, maybe that's not what's going on, but it almost feels like that. Yeah. But like, I mean, like, um, so I I feel like everyone we t I talk to, they always like, you know, Holvi's definitely because like, I mean, like, Holvi, like he really, 
I don't know, pours into like some of these smaller guys or like guys outside of reach too, you know, like I feel mm-hmm. like, you know, you see Holvey giving shout outs to like, I don't know, like 350 and like I just every, you know, Big Breeze, all those guys, like guys that like have a very much smaller fan base than him. Like he shows love to so many people and he has, I don't know, he has mm-hmm. a very big heart for God. And I agree 100%. It's like I had a chance, to, like I met him last week or two weeks ago um, and like he was like, an insanely encouraging guy, you know? So, like, I agree 100%, just, like, the way he carries himself and stuff. He's definitely going to be one of the leaders. Cooper, who do you think is going to be, like, one or two? Um, I think, it's like, he has said, Holby, I think he's a crazy dude. Like, he's he's crazy good at music. He's, like, he's very encouraging, stuff like that. Um, but I think the entirety of Next Move is also going to be really, really big. And they're going to have a massive role in the growth of CHH. Like, um, Coop and Henrik specifically, those are the ones I'm most familiar with. I think Henrik's going to bring in a lot of people. Um, oh, he, I forgot about that. Oh, Henrik, Henrik kills was. everything. Henrik is fire. Yeah. But, uh, like, he's going to bring a lot of people, like, through his TikTok and stuff like that. Like, that's already really big and it's going to get bigger. Um, and then, you know, what Next Move is doing is really important, like, in teaching them the business side of CHH, which will lead them to success, which will hopefully bring them to be leaders. So. Yeah. And also, um, like uh, going off next move, I think Indy Tribe has a huge role in the next five, six years of CHH. Personally, um, I mean they're really big. Everyone loves Dilly. Everyone loves Mowgli. Everyone loves Keith. Everybody loves DJ Michael V. Right? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think they're changing the genre too. But like we've talked about them quite a bit too. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, do you guys have anyone else you guys want to talk about that you think is like changing the genre? I mean, there's so many guys you could talk about. We could probably talk about it for an hour and a half. <laughs> but like, who, who do? You, yeah, you guys got anyone else or? I I do want to, I do want to specifically shout out my boy Big Gucci Dame too because, mm. bro, uh, and then again, it's not because I'm trying to be biased because I know him and stuff, but like, man. He uh he's bringing something really different for real. Um, I don't know how often y'all have listened to his music or not. I enjoy but, it. Uh, his new song is KC man. is really good. Anyways, continue. Yeah, KC is <laughs> fire. Yeah, KC Dame they're cool. Uh, but Dame specifically, I feel like he's got something different because it's kind of like he's uh, he's kind of very like he's very versatile. Like he can go into his bag with the lo-fi stuff, and then he could go into the trap sound. And uh, I think it's really dope because he's only like experimenting more, and I think um, I think it's gonna be interesting for people to see that. Um, and I, I think I I think that's it should be an encouragement to anybody else who's you know trying to come up as an artist is man, don't be afraid to experiment with your sound, don't be afraid to be different, Thanks. because um, if you are different, nobody can really replicate you. You know, um, I don't. Because we don't want to be a, what's it called? I think Andy Minio said it. We don't want to be a CHH version of an artist. Because yeah. um, why be the diet version of an artist when people can just go to the regular anyways? Uh, and I 100% agree with that. You know, that's why even with, I'm not trying to brag about my song just because it just dropped. But like, even with Phantom, the reason why I love that song myself is because I know like, I have my own unique sound that I've that I feel like I've started to tap into a little bit, and like I want to try to build on that. And it's important, you know, just to try to stand out, man. We're supposed to be set apart. We're supposed to, you know, be different. Like if people tell you stuff like it's trash or whatever, man. Like, man, just try to build. Try to try to, you know, obviously like try to get better. If people for real think your music isn't that good, but like, uh, don't be afraid to to stand out man because that's what it that's what it's all about yeah and like also people telling your music's not good i mean like i mean you should always be improving right like no one's above learning and stuff so like you know you can take that and like Mm -hmm. um like you know put it towards good like you know positive energy rather than kind of Mm -hmm. i mean it'd be like if someone tell like if someone tells me like my like videos suck or whatever obviously it just like it stinks but like um, yeah, I, I, you know, I try to be like, all right, so what could I do to improve it? You know, what I mean, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, there's so many, so many dope artists, and I think you know, I love your um, collective of demon killers. That's what it is, right? 
Yeah. Cool. I, I always get it mixed up with Demon Killers Collective, but um, <laughs> no, you get it, bro. I, like it's it's pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think you guys are killing it too. I'm really excited for that. We might be having an interview with them coming on, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah. So yeah. before I go, Judo, where can we find you on socials? For sure. Um. So yeah, my basically, I literally only use Twitter and Instagram. So, uh, both handles. At I am Judo Sammy, nice. and um, yeah, that's that's basically it. I don't yeah. even use Facebook. I deleted it. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to follow him as well as be sure to um, listen to him. Uh, his new song Phantom is super dope. Um, I'll put the link to Spotify on that and also the links to his uh, to his social pages. Ooh. Be sure to comment where you think CHH is going and some of the obstacles they'll be face facing. Some of the leaders you see what happened. But yeah, until next time.